My name is Cole Lowry. I am a f current freshman, and my major is visual communications. My whole, I live in Somerville, South Carolina. I went to Somerville High School and worked on the public the broadcast program Wave TV. My first year, I didn't really have a specific role because honestly, I kind of sucked. <laughs> it was really bad, uh, and we used to laugh about it a lot because I remember after winter break when I came back, I actually like started getting better at things. So first year, I didn't really have a role. It was just a lot of learning. And then the second year, I served as a producer. Um, the third year, I was not in the class as much because of the way the classes were set up. So I wasn't a producer, but I did try my best to help lead the level ones and teach them as much as I could just because and help them out because, you know, they're, they're replacing you, so it's kind of important. Cliche, but the one we're probably the proudest of, or at least my, me and my uh, group that worked on it, was probably the Walter Scott uh, news story we covered. It's probably brought us the most awards out of all of our pieces, so that's probably mainly why. Um, it taught, taught us a lot, and that sounds probably a little cliche, but the class is really nice, and the getting experience with the top competitions on having to throw together a piece so quickly, and just overall getting to hear from different experts and what they do, and hear other publications and how they fix different problems they have. My favorite memory would probably have to be the first year that I competed in a top competition. I had forgotten to eat the whole time because I was so distracted and working on it. So my best friend, Elias, uh, met me at the bus for the top competition because he knew, like he knew I was going to forget and handed me uh, ramen from some shop that he had gone to on uh, his lunch break, whatever, during the day. And so well, technically you're not supposed to eat in the computer labs, obviously. But um, I had to sneak ramen in there and eat whenever the proctor wasn't looking. <laughs> it was kind of eye-opening. Uh, I, I know our teacher uh, always told us, you know, you need to be good at one thing, but also know everything else, basically, and have, you know, a general touch on everything. And it, it really opened my eyes to all the different types of journalism. And, you know, you have this kind of broad look on what there is but you really don't know until you've experienced what all you don't have in your portfolio so it kind of made me you know get the idea of hey I need to broaden and expand my you know talent or um, my goals at USC are definitely to start a you know decent portfolio and get that going um, I have some but I definitely need to build on it I've I'm wanting to and I've already started getting involved with the magazine and the um, broad broadcast program here but just in the future I'll be looking towards getting an internship and possibly a job with National Geographic because I've I know of some people that I could kind of get me in there so hopefully it'll work out um, if I had to give advice it'd probably be to take every advantage that you have um, you know there's so many people at SIPA and SBA, SCSBA to meet and make connections with, and then also every little piece of information you can learn in those classes, it may not seem like a lot, but it all adds together, and it's really useful.